Anyway, look, man, look, we got a side note here because above the NFL, there was a lot of college football going on as well. College football, some upsets happened. Um, the big Alabama game was almost very scary for a lot of Alabama fans. Um, Notre Dame, they were upset by Northern Illinois. It was absolutely insane. And, you know, watching that game, just playing it back, I think you got to remember on any given Saturday or whatever day college teams are going head to head, you got to be aware, man. Things changed because of the way NIL deals work now. Now, it's not necessarily, oh, this school is a huge football school and this school is a Mac school or they're a smaller tiered school. They're a Sun school or, or whatever conference that is. They're a small school. You don't have to worry about teams being deemed a football school and a team who's just an academic great school. Like, no, you don't have to worry about that. Now, you got to worry about NIL because at this point, it's not about the history of a program and how well this school has been historically. It's about how much money are they throwing to build a new roster? And are they picking the right guys? Because seeing a number five team in Notre Dame go down to Northern Illinois, not saying that those guys aren't good or whatever, but that's a damn shame. That just shows you it does not matter what name your school has, what logo your school has, at the end of the day, you got to go out there and play against another elite school or elite athletes that could have went somewhere else, but they decided to go take advantage of the opportunity where they are. So, yay, yeah, just keep your eyes out. Don't get too comfortable. Some of y'all got these easy schedules on a college football um, schedule, and, and don't get too comfortable because just know it might be some sleeper schools out there. They might not have the numbers to be ranked. They might not have the popularity to be ranked and voted in to the top 12 and all of that. But just know they are some animals because even Alabama, they struggled. They struggled for a hot minute against South Florida. It was looking scary all game. And the score didn't really reflect that if you just checked the score and seen what happened. But the score also doesn't tell you when you look at it at a first glance that Alabama was struggling all the way up into the fourth quarter. That they didn't pull away until they scored 28 points in the fourth quarter. So, hey, just be aware. Michigan got spanked by Texas. There's a lot of smaller schools. U of I, they ended up beating Kansas, who was ranked number 19. It was a lot of schools out there that they don't have the, the notoriety or they don't have a, the name of a football school, but they made something happen. So got to be happy about that. Anyway, look, man, shoot us a quick take, 219-413-9405. And, of course, we'll play your take back on our next episode.